Hey guys, check this out. This is Pradeep Singh. He's an ex-army veteran and he is on hunger strike for one week in protest at the Eula's expansion. He's done this sort of thing before. He's a real community guy and he, exactly a year ago, he did a hunger strike on the cost of living crisis that was afflicting so many people. So this is a true hero of the community. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get down to Uxbridge to go and see him, but a friend of mine was going. So he recorded this thing on his phone, a little chat that he had with him. So stay tuned for that. And uh, fascinating guy absolutely brilliant what he's doing all power to him all respect to him and uh, if you're passing Uxbridge take him a bottle of water because that's all he's surviving on a brown car guy. Brown car guy. Hi sir, my name is uh, Kevin. Hi ah, uh, Kevin. How are you? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Good, yeah. So, um, how are you today? Good. Good. So, what were you... Very high spirit. Yes. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, what were you intrigued, you know, going for the new list and, you know, um, how did how did, how did you stop all this? That's the main thing, you know, in this. Well, um, uh, first of all, uh, when you look at the situation of this country, we are going through the, you know, the cost of living crisis, food poverty, and this is an extra burden, another burden on the, on the people, right? And it is coming under the pretext of clean air. That's what is bothering me. It is a white light. It's nothing to do with the clean air. Simply, uh, you know, generating revenue, putting an extra tax on the people. So this is a, a, not a toxic air. It's a toxic light. So what, what do you think the impacts will have you know, on the community as well as this hospital ourselves? Obviously, you have the elderly, you have probably you know, youngsters who are going to college investing. They won't be able to afford new cars as well. You know? Yeah, so no. What, what would be the, the... Well, as you said, the youngster cannot afford it. Older people cannot afford it. Those who afford it, can, bankruptcy can be a reality for them. You buy the new one, but cannot afford to pay the installment every month. Right? And also as a discrimination to those who cannot afford it. So uh, Mr. Khan need to look at look at the mental health and the emotional health of the people as well, rather than thinking about the clean air, clean air, thousands of dying, thousands of dying. It's a lie. It's no statics. Uh, he's already he's, his lie has already been, uh, you know, caught red-handedly when he said nine out of ten cars covered it. And the statics he gave, UKSA, they, they claim they claim that it's wrong statics. This is not what it is. So it's simply an additional extra burden on the people under the pretext of the. So um, I know you're going through this hunger strike, which is you know really you know um, going ahead, you know, and we also got protests happening. Um, but yep. Mr. Khan just doesn't want to listen to us uh, to the hard work of others. Um, yep. Obviously, the detriment to effects they're going to have, obviously, is suicidal, you know, obviously, because people are paying, you know, for the, for the rate, obviously, as you know, there's. Uh, it is a paper, paper mile scheme, mate. Yes, Simply, we want to make it simple. That's the offer. So it's a yeah. paper and mile. Obviously, he's got um, road user charging. Uh, there's also 20 miles per hour zones and LTNs which are just not working. So, what would be your say, you know, um, to um, to Mr. Khan? And uh, you know, if you if you were to see him, you know, if you were to come up and what would be your say to Mr. Khan? Well, Mr. Khan should rethink and uh, you know reconsider about the scheme he is going to impose i would say it is, it is actually imposing on the people which is going to be a burden on the on the common common people of the working class so they don't want it and uh, uh, you know being in the democratic country this is their right if they don't want it you cannot dictate it. It's not a dictatorship. We, we cannot go back, uh, uh, you know, the hundred years back. We're not living in a Nazi Germany, right? So, in a democratic structure, we have our wills. People have their wills as well. And they have expressed it through, uh, you know, signing the petition against it. And also, a uh, lot of people out there are protesting against it in the London, right? They're trying, they tried every way 
to oppose it. But Mr. Khan, I am not listening. He is not listening to it at all. All he is saying, thousands of dying, thousands of dying need a clean air. What is the problem with the clean air in Oxford? Tell me. We we okay. And you don't need to worry about the nature. Nature has the uh, nature has the mechanism itself which clean the air by. Mr. Khan is not going to create the nature to clean the air. And looking at other places like, you know, uh, um, in Antony, you know, going down to Pakistan, going down those areas, you know, I've just been recently, I've seen a lot of, you know, places that have been cleaned up now as well, and um, I can see everywhere else. Compared to the other countries, the country uh, I, I don't yeah. name any country, but compared to the other countries you go around, yeah. England, uh, they got a... Uh, you know, very good. Uh, uh, you know, the tree, tree line around the roads yeah. and small uh, ki uh, uh, kind of jungles. Mm. We have a good, uh, and we save the, that uh, green chores. You know, green, yeah. this is the reason we save it. Yes. You know, That's to fine. control the emission, to control the environment, and uh, you know, to deal with any any problem naturally. So. As I said, this is nothing to do with that. They're simply, they don't, they won't touch their, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the rich friend sitting on the top chair, because uh, when the election comes, they need, need uh, just like you scratch my back, I scratch your back. So, what do you think if you can say to, you know, uh, obviously Labour, they're the main people, they are imposing this tax on, you know, yep. as a now. He doesn't want to listen to, obviously, there's air class going off in the top. And he's also talking about, you know, not hitting in London. You know, obviously, the other, other main thing that we're Yes. Yeah. It's actually, it doesn't want to put a taxi in. Yes. It's actually, it doesn't want to put a taxi in. then he wants to just burn them on the lower, you know, the poor and the uh, middle class. Yeah. That's another tax. And uh, how do you think, you know, um, you know, people like myself or someone else, you know, as, uh, you know, we can help out, you know, uh, during the hunger strike, having if there's any, um, you know, oppose it. Yes. Simply speak up. This is your democratic right. If you don't like anything, you can oppose it. You can exercise that right, uh, like I am opposing it. I don't call everyone to go on a hunger strike. So what I say. Do what you can do. Go on the social media, do your bit, play your part, so that we can, uh, you know, keep ourselves heard. You know, so we can keep our view. So everybody have to be involved. That's when we can get rid of, uh, you know, this uh, imposition uh, going to happen on us on the 29th of August. That's going to be very bad. And yeah. what do you think, you know? It's going to be, you know, very harmful, obviously, you know, for a lot of, you know, Londoners because on the, some people don't even know about this tax, uh, especially, you know, they do thinking they can't comply with all this is. Yeah. They won't know. Obviously, what do you think, you know, is going to take this, you know, is it just going to be, you know, well, people are going to be detrimentally really affected? Well, the, especially the Greater London. You know the borrows, uh, the uh, borrows, uh, the counties have been covered, uh, been expanded now. They're going to be badly affected. Suppose this is Axbridge area is covered, right? This is under the Ulech, and Slough is not under the Ulech, right? Someone from Slough is uh, doing the regular delivery here. Here, from the Slough coming down here to look after the older people here, cannot come. Will be affected. Will be affected. So we, it is like you uh, paying for, uh, from going county to county. That's <laughs> You know, yeah. so care and worker, small businesses are badly going to be affected. The youngsters can't afford the afford to buy the new car. Badly going to be affected. The older people. I have, you know, a lot of stories in my comment book since I sat, so, sat down here. So, what do you think? You know, the US should be stopped or completely scrapped? It should be completely scrapped. We don't need it, right? And uh, again. It is coming under the pretext of clean air. That is not an issue, right? So, and we don't believe on their statics, whatever the statics they are giving, because they have uh, may 
has already lost his credibility on this uh, from the statics point of view when he said nine out of ten cars covered, which is not true, right? So that cred credibility is gone. So let let's it's turn to listen to the people. What the people? Exactly. Right. I would like to say thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kevin. Thank, thank you, Kevin. Uh, Shazad Sheikh has brought the car going. He said a many thank you. He's a motor motoring journalist and a YouTuber. And the best wishes for your health and success. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please, please hit the like button and share this video as well if you can. And while you're at it, check out these guys who also sponsor my content. I am deeply grateful to them because it helps me to buy new equipment, put fuel in the cars, and yes, buy a cup of coffee. You can do the same. Just go here or right here on YouTube. Just hit these three little dots down here and click on thanks. Make sure you're signed in first. My content is free. But this is how you can help me keep it that way. I may even send you a gift. Oh, by the way, watch this next. Brown car.